More and more stories of violence used against the local women, in particular of soldiers using rape as a weapon of war. An 11-year-old boy was raped by Russians in Kharkiv. His mother was tied to a chair and forced to watch it. Russians raped a 16-year-old pregnant girl and a 78-year-old grandmother. A six-month-old child was raped by Russians in Kherson region. Hundreds of rape cases have been officially registered. But in fact, thousands are raped. Most people are afraid to make official statements about rapes because they stay in the territories occupied by Russia. The culture of rape is encouraged in Russia at the highest level. Putin uses jokes about rape in the context of Russian-Ukrainian relations. The president's behavior is followed by his people. Wives of Russian soldiers encourage their husbands to rape Ukrainians. One such conversation was intercepted by the security service of Ukraine. The United States condemns such a behavior. Any joke about rape would certainly be something that everyone in this government would be outraged by, whether it's happening. We have never held back on our concern, uh, and certainly uh, that joke would not be. At this time, Russia continues to use sexual crimes as an instrument of war. Let's stop the war on the bodies of civilians.